Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and the Let's Try series, a series in which we do a quick dive into a game inspired by the cosmic horror genre. And this time we are doing Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace. Now Arkham Horror is based off the classic Arkham Horror board game by Fantasy Flight, which is based off the classic Lo Lovecraftian RPG Call of Cthulhu by Chaosium Incorporated. Now those are two of my favorite games, and I love them both, but they take a lot of prep to do. Call of Cthulhu Kids, of course, is a pretty intensive game, and the board game itself can take between four to six hours, which is kind of difficult to get a lot of people to commit to, but I kind of like it. Now this game was a generous donation by my longtime supporter and friend Kira. Thank you, Kira. And we're going to take a quick look at it to see as a voting option for the next series. Now, if you don't know already, the next series after the one that's currently slotted in will be voted on by my subscribers. Now, if you want to you know, check out this game and you want to vote on it, go ahead and subscribe down below. There are also unlock bonuses for subscribers that I'll probably explain at the end because we don't want to delay too long getting into this. And speaking of that, let's dive in and see what Mother's Embrace holds for us. Okay, that was a terrible pun. Okay, so now, tutorial. Welcome to Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. Who will be your investigator for this new adventure? Now, we have a number of characters that are all based on the classic board games uh, characters. The first one, of course, is Harvey Walters, the classic professor, mental resistance of 45%, and you can see that each one of these has an RPG-like element to it, where he has, they all have a potential, um, uh, let's see, mentoring ability. This Harvey's increases the range of the group's magic and ranged attacks. Though for if you have them in the game, you'll be more ranged attacks and magic will be more effective. It has an investigation attribute, which means that certain tests will use the search key code word, keyword, keyword, probably better. Yes, search keyword will be more effective. It also shows that he's weak in initiative, melee, average in range, and average in magic. So odds are that Harvey is not going to be the best if you want to go for it. If you want to go in for a melee style character. Now, uh, just a moment. Move aside. There's no time like a present. Ooh, it also gives you an idea what the voice actor is going to be like. Okay, so also you notice on the left here is the number of health they have and the amount of sanity. Now notice Walters has the most amount of sanity and the least health. And we both, we should know by now, if you've been hanging on my channel, that a lot of games have a sanity standard. Basically, it determines how quickly your mind is going to break under the horrors. And once you hit zero, usually you're out of the game. Health is the same way, but as you can see, it will probably run out of sanity long before it run out of health. Okay, so. Move aside, boys. It's my turn. No. Well, okay, now we know. Yeah. Yes, it's set in the 1930s, and of course she's dressed as a flapper. Jenny Darns, a dilettante, which basically means she's rich and has nothing better to do with her time but to investigate horrors. Uh, I do what I want, cannot be inflicted with the restrained condition, has physical for her uh, investigation advantage, initiative average, melee average, range strong, and magic weak. I'm not going to read the biographies for all of them until we decide. I, I decide which one. Of course, Jim Culver, the musician, mental resistance 75%, which is pretty good. Moral support, Jim increases the group's mental endurance. Also has a manual investigation, initiative strong, melee average, range strong, magic average. Actually, he's got weak in health and very weak in sanity, but he does have a good support character a vibe going here. Now, the next one down, I'm ready to investigate. Kate Winthrop, the scientist. She's actually one of my most favorite characters in the board game because of her special abilities. She can get additional clues, and clues are extremely important in the board game. I don't know if they're going to be using the dynamic here. Okay, Kate Winthrop, the scientist. Method is 60%, has a reduced chance to trigger traumas during the investigation. It's troubled past. She also has two investigation numbers, search and logical. In initiative weak, melee average, ranked weak, magic average, but she's not very good in a fight, unfortunately. Okay. I'm prepared. Safina Rousseau. Hmm, interesting to Heaton. I don't remember this character from the board game. Is she unique to this game? Anyways, mental resistance 50%, mastering the art. Safina uses a group more, heals her group more when using healing items or spells. Okay, basically the cleric. Social and manual, but initiative, melee, weak, range, and magic average. It's my time in the spotlight. Mar oh, I love this guy. I remember from the game. William York, the grave digger, has more con chance to resist negative conditions. Basically, he's seen it all. If you've been digging graves for a living, he also has good initiative, good melee range, and average. He's a pretty good brawler, and as a result, also has the physical investigation. All right, last I one. I heed the Lord's call. 
Oh my god, I remember her. And she's not... Oh, she's one of the crazier characters you can play in the board game. Um, she's kind of like a fundamentalist opposing Cthulhu, which, frankly, yeah, there's a there's a matchup I want to see in fiction someday. Anyways, God's will, Melee's Melee, Zoe's melee attacks do more damage because she's a fanatic. Initiative strong, melee strong, ranged average, magic weak, willpower. I honestly kind of want to do her. She's got the worst, and I mean the absolute worst, um, sanity here, which makes sense. Been such a tragic life Zoe Samaras has lived. She was only six years old when her parents perished in a fire. Thankfully, her brace of religion gave her the strength she needed to persevere. She has made a decent living for herself as a chef, but there are persistent rumors that she believes the Lord speaks directly to her. Encourage her to combat the wicked after hours. <laughs> I like this cook by day, psychotic, religious, fanatic uh, uh, version of Batman by night. There we go. I hope for her sake, there's only pernicious gossip for one can question her sense of justice. Ooh, my God, I want her. I want her. Okay, we're taking her. Got it? We are taking Zoe. All right, get protective objects from unique objects. You have to put them in the investigator's inventory. This gives them a bonus. Yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, God, the pandemic has prevented me from having board games in my usual group, and I am just sad about that. All right. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilhelmina Tillingest. Professor of Astronomy at Miskatonic University. Mm -hmm. All my life I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. Mm -hmm. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. Arkham. And so, you've decided to join <laughs> me in my mansion. Yes, a decrepit mansion in Arkham, in a Lovecraft story. What exactly could go horribly wrong here? Why? Everything. Let's see how I bad it goes. Why Professor Tillingus insisted that I deliver her meat order personally. Perhaps she wants to discuss spiritual matters. Ooh, Kiduk, we are crazy. All right. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. Okay. Better ring the bell. Okay. Q E. Hold on, right button, and then move it. All right. Okay. ASD standard moving keys. Probably should have brought in the controller. In fact, I wonder if. Oh, what do we got here? Maybe she's in the kitchen and can't hear. Oh, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. Okay. Adjust the sound a little. Make sure you can hear something. Hear it all. There's a light coming from that second floor window. She must be home. Sure. I'd better see what's cooking in there. Oh, that's a terrible pun. Okay, let's see what's cooking. Oops, there you go. All right, scenario objective. Each scenario has a set of specific objectives to complete the progress of the next scenario. These objectives are displayed in your notebook and updated as you complete them. Press L to access the notebook or click on the notebook icon at the screen. All right, invitation. Meet with Professor Tillingast. Ring the bell. We've done that. Find another way in. There's no answer at the door, but one of the second door lights, second floor lights, is on. An invitation. You arrived at my modest manor house in Arkham, invited personally by me, Professor Willingham Tillingast. When I failed to answer the door, you understood at once something was amiss. After all, I'm hardly one of those absent-minded biddies whose minds wander off at the slightest distraction. Quite reasonably, you searched the house for another way inside to ensure I was well. Okay. Okay, 75% resistance, which is good, because our sanity is 4. And this is pretty much just D-haps uh, and enemies. Alright, so we're going to have enemies, but, you know, I frankly think that Ms. Um, I kick ass for the Lord is going to be... Um, okay, oh, magnifying glass display of objects can examine. That uses the clue token for the uh, board game, by the way. Okay. Oh, interact. As you've tested before, the front door is locked. It seems to be locked from inside. Why are we leaning over this? Okay. Alright. 
So yeah, we do a quick scan around. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have a Y axis. I mean, our Z axis control, so I can't lift up it, which means we're kind of always looking down slightly at the ground. A car, this is definitely Professor Tillinghast's car. Tillinghast's car. The engine appears to be cold. Oh god, I'm gonna have the pronunciation issue, aren't I? Oh, and apparently we can accelerate if we press down this button. And let's see where else we want to go. Um, ah, also, if I click on this, I automatically walk towards an object. If you might be hearing some noise in the background, the cats are currently um in the recording booth. Oh, an outdoor ornament. The ornament seems to be used as a roundabout for vehicles and possibly summoning ancient abil uh, abominations. But then, frankly, anything in this universe can be... Yeah, camera controls seem a bit odd here. I'm going to have to get used to this. All right, but this point-and-click system does seem to work better. A car. Here stands the car in which you arrive. Before leaving, you should meet Professor Tillinghast. You know, for a minimum wage cook, you do have a decent set of wheels. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we got here? Uh-huh. A window. A box beneath the first floor window seems to invite you to take that way inside, but it looks to be shut tight. Mm. Sorry. I want to make sure you can hear. It's no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. Something tells me this isn't your first picking. you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. Yes. What I need is something heavy to smash this window. <laughs> Right, okay, cool. Uh-huh. I sense shenanigans. Okay, confirm. Some interaction objects may ask you to choose the best action out of several possibilities. Those are called complex interactions. Look through... yeah. Item found. A wire cutter. Excellent. Guess we use the wire cutter to smash the window. Probably would have put a hammer in here. Oh, God. How dare you smash my window! I hope you intend to have it replaced. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few windows. I pray you find that one funny when I find you, Professor. We're going to get a lot of religious puns, aren't we? Minorly regretting my my desire here. All right, so let's see if she can play the piano. Hmm. Uh, just a quick question. Okay, so she's playing the piano by strumming the strings directly. It's perfectly good. Perfectly possible, I guess. A beautiful piano. You don't recall the professor mentioning that she could play. Judging from the dusty instrument, you doubt she it uses sees much use. Okay, so let's go check this out. A comet painting. A large painting of a comet hurtling through the night sky. It seems the professor's interest in astronomy col colored her taste in art as well. All right, so let's see. Also, how often, like I said, do you have a fire in a room you're not using? Of course, she was suspecting company, but it seems odd that she would lay a fire and then just kind of forget it. Ah, there we go. Okay. A broken vase? The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, especially when expecting visitors. I'd better find her. Yeah, yeah. Considering what she does at night, I'm getting to wonder just why she's so good at breaking entering, and just how many mysterious murders are going to be pinned to her at the end of this. All right, complex interactions. If your investigators have the knowledge required, they will offer advice in the best course of action. If it's not the case, they will tell you nothing. She does not have logical. She has willpower. Okay, manipulate. Okay, broken glass. Shards of fragile object now shatter lie on the ground. Perhaps there's a clue. Closer and... I like the little... Um... Magnifying glass. Inspection of the fractured object reveals it was a vase. Based on the position, you think it fell from the small table nearby. Since the fragments are free of dust, you deduce it broke recently. All right. That scream came from upstairs. Right. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. Just getting a little odd with the, um... Professor? Was that you? Of course it was. Hurry! No answer. There must be someone else in the house. I ought to find a weapon. First thing she would think of, yes. 
Oh, look. Oh, and we lost sanity. Certain events will force a sanity check. Each investigator's mental resistance score determines their chance of success to resist it. When the sanity reaches zero, the investigator in question suffers from a trauma, which gives them a penalty. Oh, God, we're going to be freaking nuts by the end of this. But it's half the fun of playing Call of Cthulhu. Uh, look through. Ah, sharp blade. Weapon found. A weapon, select the weapon using... Ah, there we go. Move. Uh, move. Enter, move with cursor. Ah, there we go. Okay, seems to be something a bit off here. Okay, so we're attempting to move this. Oh, please do not tell me. Oh, do not tell me we're going to have a problem here. Ah, there we go. It didn't use the mouse control. Okay, so close the inventory by pressing the uh, button or right-click your mouse. On the other hand, I think what I'm going to do... All right. I'd better take this knife. I know how to use it on more than a beef roast. As many non-Christians have found to their um, shock and horror. What on earth are you doing with my letter opener? Oh, sigh. All right. And equip. There we go. Old-fashioned RPG rules. I know I should be going upstairs, but I'm also the sort of person who just keeps looking around. A shoe rack. A shoe rack containing we assume are the professor's shoes. Chances are she hasn't left the house. Well, useful information, I guess. Didn't we just hear a scream upstairs? A door. It seems this door is locked. It's a good thing it's not where you want to go. Then... Okay, Silent Hill rules. There are doors because logically there have to be doors in such a place, but yeah, your pathfinding skills are terrible, unfortunately. Uh, looks like I'll be handling this manually for the most part. All right, so we're upstairs now. Hmm. The scream came from this direction. I'd better take a look. Okay, the game master is being a railroader. The scream must have come from the other side of this door. Great. Open That's the door. That's my office door. Locked. A door which you heard Professor scream is locked. Okay, but... Right, then. Clue added to notebook. Out of curiosity. Uh, inventory. Okay, story. My invitation... Invita Cheating with for visit, not wanting vandalism. Certainly understand your concern for my safety, but couldn't you have found a less destructive means? Oh, this is all going to be in the professor's voice. She's narrating. Entering then to climb atop a wooden box and break into the music room window. Just so you discovered a broken vase near the front door, screaming from the upper upper floor, uh, upper floor drew your attention. Could it have been my voice you heard? I mean, really, wouldn't you know if that was your... Uh, give me a second. Yeah. Long way around. Look at the hang of it. Okay. Okay, the bathroom. Okay, all right. Check the medicine cabinet. Never know what you might find. A mirror. Your gaze reflection gazes back at you from the scrupulously clean bedroom mirror. I'm betting, however, she has help. You get all that old and you have this much money. You got servants. A cabinet. A well-built cabinet is shut. Locked. Knowledge manual. No advice. Oh, no. Force open. Though your investigations, you may draw the attention of great old ones. This is called Mythos. The Mythos clock fills up each time an unsuitable action is chosen during a complex interaction at the end of a full round of combat. When the Mythos clock is full, the great old ones will intervene to slow you down. Be on your guard. Ah. Cabinet. A little applied mechanics is all it takes to open the container and see what's inside. You found a new uh, item. Bandages. Alright, so... That's our healing potion. I can live with that. Anyways, yeah, let's continue looting the professor's house because this is how RPGs work. And I seriously am feeling like my old Call of Cthulhu days are coming in. It's one thing players do, no matter what the genre, no matter what the setting. Door, it just doesn't door. To, okay, so you're railroading me again. RPGs is you loot the place and you try to make drive the GM insane. A painting of cats. Old ladies tend to like cats, but you do admit it. Admit 
do admit it emits a sense of calm. And this door? Okay, it doesn't lead to where... <laughs> She's got a little notebook. I love it. I don't... It says, I don't think Satan is behind all of this, but I can never be too sure. Jesus be with me. As I break into this old woman's house. Alright, so, okay. Children's toy. Toys are laid out around the room so carefully you doubt even a child could ever have touched them. Okay. Possibly she left her kid's house to be... A oh, room to be is okay. Better get that letter opener ready, lady. I do like this expression. Come on. You've attacked people for no reason before. We can do so again. Hello, Humphrey Bogart? Who's there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? I'm the help. What would a federal agent want with me? I don't know. Also, yeah, this is the BI, which eventually became the FBI. If you've seen my um, 2005... Sorry, my... If you've seen my um, series on the 2005 Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth game, you will get a lot more information about the Bureau of Investigation during the time of the Cthulhu Mythos stories. But this, suffice it to say, this is just, this is before Hoover took over and became the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now it's just the BI. I'm Zoe Samaras, Butcher. I'm here to deliver some meat to the professor. Butcher may not be the right thing when you break into a place and there's likely to be a body online. Don't, don't call yourself a butcher. For some reason, she asked for me personally, so when she didn't answer the door, I came inside. Then I heard that scream. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. Yeah, you got a butcher with a knife you know, <laughs> breaking into an old woman's house. Seriously, why haven't you arrested me yet? Is Professor Tillingus a suspect in some crime? Well, he can't, he can't speak of investigations that are ongoing. She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. Well, by the way, trying to involve her in shady business, we don't know that Tillinghast is actually a good guy. Think about it for a second. She's um, went to Louisiana, which we know from the Call of Cthulhu uh, short story, or novel, really, that is a center for the Cthulhu cult, and she's obsessed with astronomy comets, which could be, well, of course, remember when the stars are right, which is a banner right on my, on my channel, means that that is when the old ones shall arise. So they have to be able to, to know when the old ones are ready to rise. You'd have to know what the stars were. So you could be an astronomer. So there is my headcanon that Tillinghast is actually a secret cultist. I came to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. Do you have a gun? Then why are we looking for a key? I wasn't prepared for so many guests today. Seriously? I'll help you find that key. You're naive. Ah, Roland Banks, new investigator. Character sheet. Roland Banks, the Fed. 28 health, 7 sanity, mental resistance. I first met Agent Roland Banks when he visited my home to ask me if I knew anything about some strange group of people. He seems to have little more than vague rumors to investigate, and honest, I don't entirely understand what he was after. Okay, we have Mulder Fox of the 1930s, if you've ever seen the X-Files. I guess I would that, would that would make me Scully. Oh my god, that's right. Scully is a Catholic and a skeptic. Um, Cool. Are we going to have Graves? Still, he seemed honest, if not open, and he has the broad shoulders and quite confidence one likes to see in members of the Bureau of Investigation. He certainly appeared to be the sort of person who wanted to call for help. Perfect game. Roland has a more has a more chance of dealing a critical hit in combat. Okay, initiative strong, melee weak, range strong, magic weak. Okay, so yeah, we have a second character. Yeah, uh, you met Shvajan. I don't think I can have the time to actually... How patronizing... He pressed, he admitted I was not a suspect, insinuated I had been manipulated in some way. How patronizing. At least he had the decency to join your investigation. Okay, I'm not going to read everything that she puts into this book, because apparently she decided that she's doing, writing her uh, life story. <laughs> but I will if this interesting. All right, no advice. Move things around. Oh, item passed. Among any ornaments, a key mug office hangs from my mobile. What a clever place to keep a spare key. Weird, but I'll work There's with it. There's a key on this mobile. Is there blood? My files say Tillingus has no children. If that's true, 
Why would she need a nursery? Are they specific fetish? The professor always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Okay. Oh, I can't say it isn't true. I wish people were less prone to idle gossip. And what would we do with our time? Okay, so... Gods. Alright, just a quick check down here in case there's something we can find. Remember, always loot the bodies and always check the rooms. Cigarettes! A pack of smokes just to calm the nerves. Sanity. Okay, we're, we're gonna take these and we're gonna smoke them right now. Oops, use. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I have... What's this I found? Dude, I'm just having a quick smoke. You know, my nerves are shot. It's been a long day chopping up meat. I'm gonna be dealing with monsters that are, uh... Ugh, they're gonna break my mind. Ooh, shake. You open the chest to find it's full of books. Lying on top is a single sheet of paper in which is written a recipe for apple fritters. Peel, core, and slice the apples across, but not too thin. Dip into a frying batter, remove one. Why is this in the kitchen? Dust the powder. You know, we're a cook. We should already... Actually, yeah, that would make sense. Grab it. We could start serving those in the kitchen tomorrow. Okay, point and click system as best I can. And once we can see this, we should be able to use the point to drive us all the way in. All right, doesn't look like we have any other thing to investigate. Let's go open this door. <laughs> yes, this it, we are the freaking X-Files here. I'm Scully, he's Mulder. We're going to be investigating a 1930s version of the X-Files. Let's go. What the hell? Who? I, God, I didn't know she was into goth. Apparently she's decided to have a bit of a rave. Or, wait. <laughs> An intruder. How many people can I expect to break into my house today? I just love how this guy has got the pentagram here, which is the elder sign, which in Lovecrafting is thing is that you wear to keep the beings of Cthulhu away. But on the other hand, I suppose if you were a cultist, you'd want the ability to survive being around these things. So it might actually make sense to do that. And in the case, he's also barefoot, which I just love the fact that he's running around New England in bare feet and a robe like that. You know, this probably stands out compared to the average 1930 uh, New England uh, Yankee. Who are you? Listen, pal, you've got some explaining to do. Come then, I have just the explanation you deserve. Combat. Lord, give me strength to death. Oh god, my sanity. Turn-based. Combat is turn-based. Every character acts one after the other without time constraints. The order of each attacker is based on the initiative roll at the start of combat and is laid at the top of the scar on the initiative bar. Each character has five action points to spend each turn. Each action has specific action point cost. Once validated, an action cannot be undone except for movement. These are type of weapons, melee, range, and spellbook. Each reinvestigator has a different aptitude with various weapon types. The aptitude will affect the action point cost. All right, so we know that her special ability is she's good with melee. So, all right, equip, move, ah, use, trade, I guess with him, and Overwatch, which I remember from XCOM of all things. But what we want to do is we want to move closer. And I see it's keeping track of how many movement points we use. So we do here, we spend one movement point, Confirm position. Okay. And we stab a man. Eh. Alright, cool. I think, yep, we got two action points remaining. We do it again. Yeah, she's probably uncomfortably... What's going on? She's probably uncomfortably comfortable with murdering strangers. Uh, just... Yeah, I like the fact she's not even blinking at this point. Oh, uh... uh Totally, Agent. I'm not usually used to murdering people in a couple of ease, even slices across the neck at night, wearing strange robes. Thing is, in a Lovecraftian universe, she's actually might be on the side of good. We'd better have a look inside. Okay, you first. Oh, hang on. Let's uh, check out the credenza here. Oh, more bandages. Good. Mm, always, always keep your healing items. You know, 
distribute them in the party, so if one person goes down, they can, uh, you know, you don't lose all your healing items. Never have the cleric. Ooh, don't need to reload a knife. Thanks. So, in case you never give the cleric your healing items in case something happens to him. It's okay. Key fits. Cool, she's got two doors. Oh, wow, that looks interesting. Oh, okay, apparently this rave went out of control. Oh, gods, I love her. I love her little expression there with her teeth. Who in blazes are you? Heavenly Father, protect us. Okay, apparently we're God's vengeance upon Cthulhu. Wait. That's me. That is... It's my... Body. Okay, so is the narrator her ghost and just doesn't realize she's dead? Because that would actually fit perfectly. That's Professor telling us all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. I don't know. She doesn't shut up as the narrator. We need to stop them. God is with us. All right. So, number two. Oh, she lost his sanity. Okay, Zoe. You gonna stick a bitch. Okay, come on. You're the best melee character, which is odd since you're kind of like 130 pounds sucking wet, but I can live with this. Whatever it takes. What the? Okay, and. Oh, man. Apparently, no, I can't. Alright. Can I end turn there? Yes. Alright, I got a gun. Okay, I got a gun, so. Always try to kill the characters that you can that are wounded. All right, we make a good team. Uh, but it takes three action points. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, reload takes two. Cool. Do I have unlimited ammo? Oh, you got cut. Yeah, I'll go save you, alright? See, move. Wait, what the? Apparently, I can't step over a body. Good to know. Okay, so confirm position. Do we get back at. Uh, do we get bonuses for attacking him in the rear? <laughs> Apparently, we do. You... Who were those cloaked figures? This wasn't just a burglary. <laughs> Like I said, I think the goths, local goths, have gotten uppity. You're right about that. Must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. Cool. Time for the investigation. Do you it updated? Yeah, let's see. Ooh, hang on. Willpower. A visual study is enough for now. So, yeah, it's taking us... Okay, so from her point of view, since she's got willpower, you notice that, by the way, his abilities will also kick in for these sort of things, is that it tells us which one to do, which is to just look. Oh, for God's sakes. A deep weeping wound in her abdomen appears to be the cause of death. Judging for wetness, she was killed instantly. You're a butcher! There is no way seeing a butchered body is going to make Poor you Professor set. Tillingist. Such a terrible death. And I didn't do it. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. Like summon Cthulhu. All right, all right, all right. Bets on whether or not she's a bad actor, because the, she could have been a leadership struggle. She might have decided the part of the rituals to sacrifice herself, and she went crazy with it and, and did so in hopes to bring about the end of the world. Or is it just, like I said, a ray have gone horribly wrong? This wound on her stomach it looks like she was knifed. Oh, that's just brilliant deduction, Agent. Useless as ever, Alt Mulder. Okay, so notebook. Let's see what we got here. In oh, enemies. Strange men. Strange people that came to my house and killed me. I even, they would say, even sacrificed me. How horrible. Well, that's not really useful information. I suppose if we found more about the cult, we would do so. It will fill in. Uh, let's surprise another intruder. Where eat for games garden attacked you. Turn the tables and you find I was searching the office. No one was more shocked than I to discover my dead body. Although I suppose I didn't discover it myself. I was present, of course. Though my friend's eyes, I saw. The, yeah, you're a ghost. Knife wielding man is ritual costume. Loyal friends, you are prevented from being. Okay, okay, 
Other intruders already escaped. The killer defeated you, took in the sorrowful scene, and began gathering clues. It just, I find it kind of hilarious like, that um, she's narrating her own murder. See, can I switch characters? Hmm, doesn't look like it. All right, just stay out of my way, dude. Oh, good. Not for crying out loud. Large glyph has been painted on the floor, apparently in blood. Your certain professor, Tilling Gasso, has deliberately killed above it. What you aren't certain of is why. God, we're gonna go mad. Just the being sight here. of blood usually doesn't bother me, but that symbol drawn on the floor has an unholy look. It's because I'm a butcher of animals. Sure. The irony being is that Old Testament sacrifices My were butchers. My nice clean floor ruined. Priorities. That looks like some kind of cult symbol. Brilliant. This ain't a garden variety burglary. Okay, you really are the guy that keep in the basement at the agency, aren't you? Which is Mulder in the uh, in the canon of his stories. Okay, a flask of some sort. Logical. Should be able to put it back together. Yep. Resembling most of the shattered container, you see a flask that came from the laboratory. So we got the printed word Miskatai. Okay, Miskatonic Science Lab. Laboratory. This sort of accident usually happens in the kitchen. What happened here? I dear. Yeah. <laughs> they don't let you out much, do they? Yeah, broken jaw, a flask. You can make out a few letters. Miska Uni Lab Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. Oh god, he is an idiot. God, give me strength. Find flaws, lockpick. Uh, oh! Inside the drawer, you find various notebooks. At glance, you find nothing related to the murder, but it's clear Professor Tillinghast was in the habit of recording even trivial events in her life. It's a Lovecraftian story. Look at these notebooks. Is this the professor's handwriting? It's a Lovecraftian story. Everybody writes down their entire life, including the lag moment in which they die. It is, but how would you know? There's no useful information here. But perhaps Professor Tillingus kept notes on this material in another location. Didn't you go back to the kitchen at this point, or at least making a statement? And I hate to tell you this, Mr. Banks, but, um, murder's a local jurisdiction. Shouldn't you be contacting the cops? We found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. Okay. And so my friend set out to discover how I was killed. Okay. Ah, now we come to the credits. Honestly, the soundtrack does make me sound like, feel like a, you know, just a Batman game. Alfred, I found evidence that a cult is right or some Cthulhu. Quick, send me the bat plane. Something they want to read in 1930s so Batman uh, Elseworlds. I know there's one who does vampire. Arkham Horror. I mean, does Dracula. Brothers Embrace. Red Rain, that was it. Batman Red Rain. I like that one. Sorry, I'm wandering off. Of course, Arkham has many graveyards. Lots of people keep dying there. Completed. You managed to stay sane. Well, as sane as you started off, Zoe. Professor Tillinghast was found dead in her home, what appears to be the members of a cult. But what happened? Trauma. Zoe. Roland Banks. Third investigator. Not found. Enter the mansion. Find Tillinghast. Find out what happened. So, secondary objectives. Your investigators are returning to the office. This is probably Banks' office, which is in the basement. All right. Search of my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. Okay. Every single um, Call of Duty game always goes to Call of Duty Conic University, so that's certainly... Oh, here we are. Okay, Zoe's melee damage. It looks like we do recover sanity between missions, which is good. Um, let's see. You need to select a group that will continue the investigation in the next scenario. Build a group based on the challenges you expect to find in the field. Review the investigator's strengths as needed in your notebook. Well, we don't really have it, but we are going to have to... Uh... Okay, confirm. And, yep. Yeah, this is his... Oh, it's her office. We've taken over Tillingen's mansion. Uh, 
Okay. I suppose the 1930s, the FBI, they're not going to be really worrying about legalities and things like that. Okay, so yeah, we put, yeah, who do you want leading and who do you want that? We actually want her. No. I want her to lead, not you. Thanks. Uh, back. All right, so. No. There we go, because she's a melee character and you're a ranged character. Okay, so, F, continue, what's this, okay, sorry about that, I had to take a quick second there, tutorial, office and equipment, at the end of the scenario, all the items that you collected on your investigation are stored here, before heading out again, make sure to have your assigned weapons, accessories, and items to your investigator, so basically, you strip everything off the characters and force me to put it back in, alright, we'll move this guy, he's in here, he's got nine bullets, okay, he's not getting paid that much, wait, wait, no, she doesn't have that, you have that. My apologies. Yeah, you get your the kitchen knife, of which you've managed probably butchered many innocent people, and bandages. We'll um uh give Zoe two, and you get one. Okay. Oh, nice little feature in doing that. Okay, so that's probably where we're going to be going in the next area. Okay, so. Then I'm going to say, you're probably going to end the Let's Try episode here. Um, you've got an idea of what the game is like, the gameplay, the concept behind it, the mystery that we're trying to solve, and the basic RPG elements that we're working with here. So if this is the game and you are a, uh, you are a, uh, subscriber you can do, vote on this when we actually come to the poll it's probably going to be the second option we already did a previous one for um oh don't do this to me oh yeah um song of horror now we're at arkham horror and which i will put a link to up above if i recall if i don't yell at me in the comments and of course there'll probably be three other um series that I put up here for, for you as well. They'll be coming out probably once every three to four weeks. Now, if you are a financial supporter, however, you will be getting an additional episode or two of the show the rest of the game. As a supporter, you get additional votes. A $1 supporter where it gets two votes and a $2 supporter gets three votes on selecting the next series. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say if you want to see the rest of the game and like if you first of all, if you want to vote on what this next uh, series is, just subscribe down below. And if you want to see, however, the next chapter in the game, well, it's one dollar gives you access to additional material. Two dollars gives you access to um, a month, uh, gives you access to uh, early. Sorry, gives you early access. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I've been recording all day in my brain and my mouth to just sometimes do silly things. Anyways, so what I was going to say is that if you are a $2 supporter gets early access. Links are down below with the Gumroad payment platform. And um, it also there's additional unlock bonuses for both subscriber and supporters. Subscribers, for example, at 500 will be getting an additional Cult of Simulator series. And their stretch goal for the supporters will be additional monthly episodes, which, a type of which is voted on by the supporters themselves. In the meantime, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country, and I will see you next time. Hey there, Cthulhu, down there in your sunken city. You're a billion light years distant, and the stars look very pretty from Relay. So close and yet so far away. E-R-E-A. -E